there. Today we're going to be looking at we're going to be looking at standard seven point point two today. Trying to get map shapes with given conditions, with a focus on constructing angles from parameters, angles or sides. Noticing when the conditions determine a unique triangle, more than one triangle, or no triangle. So we're over on slide two, and we're going to go with some vocabulary terms. All right, so we're going to drag and drop our vocabulary um, definitions to match with the vocabulary term. So, congruent means is the size, shape, and measure. So, we're going to say size, shape, and measure, and we're going to drop into congruent. All right, we're just going to fix that so that we can see the word still. Perfect. Congruent line segments are similar to congruency, except they are line segments that have the same length. Move that over here because the line segments have the same length. We've worked with points in the past where we've created a number line and we put a point on the line. And we know this means a location in space, there's no size or it's a point. And then we have sketch. So a sketch is creating a geometric figure. Take this and drag and drop this. Line it up a little bit more. Okay, right, so then we have our vocabulary terms in. Let's look at slide three. Determined following statements are always true, sometimes true, or never true. If your answer is always true or sometimes true, try to give a specific example. So number one, a triangle can be formed to get two side lengths. Now, this is always true because if you're given two side lengths like this or like this or like this or just two sides and you put them together, you can turn it into a triangle by connecting those two outside points. So this is always true because you can make the third side length any of the sides. Number two, a triangle can be formed given any two angle measures. Now, if we have an angle of 180 degrees, it's a flat line, and then we have an angle of, I don't know, 90 degrees. So we have a flat line and a straight line. If that can work. If we have 90 and 90, so we have like a 90 degree angle. Another 90 degree angle, we can make a triangle. Those need to stay perfect as 90 degree angles. And if we were to connect those two, we'd make a square instead of a triangle. So that's, that's a true and on the angles that are being used. So I'm going to type that into the box and say this is sometimes true because it depends on the measurement of the angle.
Remember, a triangle can be formed given any three side lengths. So if I have like a side length of one and a side length of two, this could be possible of three. But if I have a side length of one and a side length of five, there's no possible way this one could be. It would have to be longer than that. Um, so that's sometimes true. It depends on the three side lengths that we're given. So if you're given three side lengths that you you know or to make a triangle, then obviously it's true. But if you're given three lengths that just don't seem like they would make sense together, that's not true. So this is another one that is times true. Therefore, if the angles have the exact same measure. So there's only one angle where this is actually true, and that's called an equilateral triangle, where it is the same on each angle is 60 degrees. That's the have the exact same angle measure. You can't have a triangle that has 30 degrees. All around because an add up to to make sense. So there's one situation that's true. So the next slide is going to ask us to define whether or not triangles are possible or impossible. So we're going to be given something we need to determine whether or not it is something that is possible or impossible. So triangle with the angles 72, 48, and 60. So we have 70. Oops. So seventy two, forty eight, and sixty. So if we add those together, eight plus two is ten. Carry the one. One plus seven is eight. Plus four gives us twelve. Six is eighty. So we'd have 180, which is how many degrees are exactly in a triangle. So then this one would be possible. So we're just going to do 
quick as possible and drive to the box. Let's get one. A triangle with angles and forty and one. Add those together and find out if they go up to one hundred and eighty or if they equal up to more than one hundred and thirty. So we have one hundred forty, we have thirty, and we have twenty. And we're going to add those together. So zero just go zero. Four plus three is seven plus two is nine is one, 190 is too large, so this one is actually impossible. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag an impossible box. We're gonna take it and drag it up to the spot for number two. So number three, we were just talking about this um, on the slide before. Triangle uh, with two right angles and one angle. So a right angle is 90 degrees. And then an acute angle. Less than 90 degrees. So it would not be possible if we get a angle with two right angles for it to have an acute angle. It just wouldn't make sense. Okay, another impossible angle because this doesn't even make a triangle. So we're going to label number three impossible. All right, number four. four. One of two angle, angle, and one of two angle. Now, two is more than 90 degrees. So let's draw those three angles over here on the side. So we have one of two angle, so some greater than 90 degrees, one right angle, then one acute angle. So two and a cube. All right. Those angles, it's unlikely that it's going to be a triangle because if we were to draw it over here within a and then into a right angle and show an angle, again, it doesn't quite look like a triangle. So we did not have those three measurements together to make a triangle. That one is impossible. So we're going to take the impossible into number four. All right, number five says a triangle with three acute angles. Now, this is similar to what we were just talking about on the side before again. There's one situation where this is true, and that's where all angles are equal to each other. And the only way to have all three angles equal to each other is take 180 and divide by three because there are three angles in an angle. 
And in this case, it would be called an equilateral triangle. Let me just grab it again. So it would be something like this. And then all three angles would be equal to 60 degrees. We're showing that those are all equal. So that one would be possible. Let's just grab and drag our possible. And then we're going to move on to side five. So now we're determining if the given information would form a unique triangle, many triangles, or no triangle. Drag and drop the correct answer to match each scenario. Now you can draw these out on paper, or you can take your best guess. So we have 5 inches, 9 inches, and 13 inches. So say our base is 5 inches, and our height was 9 inches. That would mean this angle or this side here would be 13 inches. Now, that particular triangle is a triangle, it would be a neat triangle because it only makes the one side length or the one. Side. Granted, you could flip this, but this side would always be the one that connects nine to the five. So we're going to label this a unique triangle because it only makes the one triangle. All right, our next one, we have, have one centimeter, five centimeters, and meters. So one centimeter, five centimeters, nine centimeters. So that would not quite make a triangle because this third side length is way too long for the length of this triangle. This bottom here would be considered one, five, and this would be nine. It's possible to connect these here, but not enough to connect the one. So this one is considered a no triangle. There are no triangles made with this particular side, uh, set of sides. We're going to take this and we're going to drag it up and put it in the box for number two. And then we're going to look at number three. So number three, we have three feet, five feet, and 11 feet. So we're going to make our base three feet. We're going to make our height five feet. And then it says 11. So again, this is impossible because it's going to take more space up over here. And it's just not going to be able to create a solid triangle. So number three, again, is no triangle. Let's look at our, our next one, number four.
So number four, it only gives us two sides. So 18 and 24. With 18 and 24, we can make any kind of triangle we want. We can make a triangle 18 and 24. 18, 24. It could have an acute angle, 18 and 4. So that, because it's only given us two side lengths, that is considered many different triangles because we make a bunch of different triangles using those and it still be possible. So we're going to take the one that says many different triangles and we're going to drop that into number four. Up and we'll get number five. So number five is centimeters, twelve centimeters, and sixteen centimeters. We have 12, 17. So this one, it would be 12, 7, and 10. So this one, again, would only take the one unique triangle. And this isn't something that's twice the length, like does how the one side was twice the length uh or almost twice the length of the second side or nine times larger than the side where it didn't so this one is one unique triangle so we're gonna take you we're gonna put that down for number five and then we're gonna go on to our last slide which just has three problems So, looking at the last one, we're going to construct the following geometric figures using the Google Swimming 2. So, we've been getting the angle right to side length, and we need to make angle. So, what we do is we take this blue one and we'll drag and drop it over to the triangle. Oops, too far. And we need to make a triangle out of it. So we made our little kind of fun one. Let's just use this uh, circle segment AB as the radius, um, as the center of the circle. So we're going to go up here and we're going to click in But if you go shapes, we're just going to find a circle. And they're going to try our best to make A, B in the center. So B would be touching the surface of the circle, and A would be marking the center radius. And then you see how we came through this? If we click over here on the paint bucket, and then we click on transparent, you'll be able to better line up your circle to the line segment that we have. 
and then we're just going to match up better. And the should be just on the outer edge. So just on that. And then number three, our very last one is that a triangle with a two angle and two acute angles. So we're going to go over here and grab this little segment that we have here. Play drop. drop and we use these. I'm going to use And I'm just going to make my, my two, two, uh, two angles. I don't want that to appear. Let's be black so I can see it. All right. So in a two angle, let's make that. I'm gonna grab the scribble again. Oops, that's a little Kirby. Now I want to try to get straight guys. And then we want to connect those two lines with one line. And we want to go on the inside, not the outside. So we're going to go from here. Oops, that was already again. I want to make a nice straight triangle. It could take you a minute or two to get a of this scribble. You can always click up down and on the line, and you can use the line to make it. Every time you finish, you're gonna have to click on it again to reopen it, and do the rest connect the side there. So I have two acute angles that are less than 90 degrees and a an angle greater than 90 degrees. All right, you guys uh, did fantastic today and you have a little bit of practice that we're gonna do a great day. And if you need me, please reach out.